Unit 10, Day 1, Space Figures and Cross-Sections. A polyhedron is a solid that is bounded by polygons. A face is a single region of space. An edge is a line segment formed by the intersection of two faces. And a vertex is a point where three or more edges meet. Now in this unit, you want to make sure you're being careful because we're going to be looking at two-dimensional representations of three-dimensional figures. This polyhedron here is a cube, and the faces are all squares. So the front, the back, the left side, this right side, the bottom, and the top. Even though some of them look like parallelograms, all of them are actually squares. To describe an edge, if you look at this front square, that face, in this top line, when it meets the square that's along the top, it creates, those two sides together create one edge. A vertex is any point where three or more edges meet. So what you may call a corner, these are the vertices. Here you want to tell whether the solid is a polyhedron. So think about our definition, try to find your answers, and then check back with me to see if you got it right. So hopefully you got all the correct answers. This cone is not a polyhedron because this top is a circle, which is not a polygon. And if you were to try to find the face of this around it, that's also not a polygon. This one, the cylinder, around that face is a rectangle, but again, the top and the bottom are circles and they are not polygons. And this last one, though there are a lot of rectangles, if you look at the very top, there's this hole cut in the middle, and that's not a polygon either. The platonic solids are regular polyhedra, and these are polyhedrons that are bounded by the same regular polygon. So we have equilateral triangles, we have squares, we have pentagons. You don't have to memorize what these are, but this is just for your reference. Here, we need to describe the cross-section. So, in terms of a cross-section, you want to think about taking a solid figure and then slicing through it with the knife. And if we were to slice through it and open it up to look at it, what would that shape be? So if we take this hexagonal prism and then we sliced it from this edge all the way to that edge, and if you were to take a look at it, that would actually be a rectangle. This one would be a hexagon, and this one, when you cut that off, that would be a triangle. Here, we have a rectangle, and in the cylinder, another rectangle. And then here, we would have, you could say a quadrilateral, um, if you're not certain, because this one, it, it's not as clear whether it's going to be a parallelogram, a rectangle, or a square, so quadrilateral is sufficient. Euler's Theorem. The number of faces, vertices, and edges of a polyhedron are related by the formula f plus b equals e plus 2. Using Euler's theorem, we want to talk about how many faces this barn has. So we count the front and the back, and then all around the sides, and we get a total of 8 faces. Then we want to count the vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the front, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the back. So we have a total of 12 vertices. And when you count the edges along the front, the edges along the back, and all the edges that go around, we have a total of 18. So we want to see if the results satisfy Euler's theorem. So we take the number of faces plus the number of vertices equal to the number of edges plus 2. This is 20 equals 20, so it works. So here we want to use Euler's theorem to find the unknown number. So we're going to take faces plus vertices equals edges plus 2, and then substitute the information we know. And then we get f plus 6 equals 14, and f is equal to 8. So go ahead and pause, find the number of vertices and edges in these two problems, and then check back with me to see if you got it right. Hopefully you found the middle one, the vertices, equal to 6, and the last one, edges, equal to 30. 
Now we want to use Euler theorem. This practice is going to be very guided for you, but the other problems we'll be working through will not be as guided. So make sure you pay attention to this process. First, we want to count how many faces. One front, one back, and three along the side. So we have five total. And the question is how many different polygons? We have two triangles, and then we have three rectangles. And how many faces of each polygon? So we have two triangles. Each triangle has three sides. So we have a total of six sides here. We have three rectangles, four sides on each rectangle. So that's going to be a total of 12. Now when you add those together, you get a total of 18 sides. Now, careful, because Euler's formula doesn't have a variable for sides. We actually need to use the sides to find the number of edges. So if you look carefully, this rectangular face right here, that side, and then this triangle, that side, those two intersect to create one edge. So if you think about it this way, two sides equals one edge. If we have the total number of sides is 18, then we can divide that by two to get nine edges. Now we want to use Euler's formula to find the number of vertices. So we said we have five faces, nine edges, so V is equal to six. So I need you to remember this process because we're going to do the next problem together and this one's not going to be as guided and I just want you to remember the steps. So we need to use Euler's theorem. A certain convex solid has 14 faces, 8 triangles, and 6 octagons. How many vertices does the solid have? Don't try to count the number of edges, vertices, and faces and imagine what's along the back. You want to be able to do this without a diagram at all. So we know that we eventually want to get to Euler's theorem, which is faces plus vertices equals edges plus 2. Now, we need to find the number of vertices. That means we can calculate the faces and the edges based on the information we're given. So first, when you read, it says we have 14 faces. So we can substitute that in. And then it says eight of them are triangles. And then we're going to have six octagons. Now, we need to use that to calculate the number of edges. That's what we're missing. So if you remember from before, first we're going to find the total number of sides. Every triangle has three sides. So 8 times 3 gives us 24. And every octagon has 8 sides. So 6 times 8 gives us 48. If we add those together, that's a total of 72 sides. And remember, we said that two sides equals one edge. So we want to take the 72 sides, divide it by 2, and that gives us 36 edges. So we want to take those 36 edges, substitute it into Euler's theorem, and then we'll find that V is equal to 24. And that'll be your final answer, 24 vertices. Go ahead and try this problem, see if you can remember the steps of how to get there, and then check back with me to see if you got it right. So I've laid out my work exactly like the problem that we did before, but hopefully you found that the vertices um, equal 60. So if you didn't get 60, check your work with mine, see where you might have made a mistake. Okay, that's it for today, so I'll see you in class.